Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. Today, we're going to talk about making hominy. Okay, what we're going to do in this process today uh, of nix, 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 mil, nixamilizing corn, which is actually what we're doing is we're making hominy. Uh, you've got to have field corn. Uh, now, this is uh, Hickory King, which is a an excellent field corn because the kernels are big on this. Uh, this is from my last year's crop. I had just thrown it in the freezer so it uh, would keep and I'm just now getting to it. But anyway, what we're gonna do is, uh, first we're gonna wash this uh, here and it's just a matter of we're, we're gonna make sure we get uh, all the little pieces out which aren't really gonna matter because we'll, we'll drain this off and, and rinse it. But it's better if we go ahead and, and this corn has been cleaned real good whenever we had uh, taken and, and put it up. Now there might be a few little things in here that are left over. We'll pick, we'll pick them out. But other than that, uh, there's not going to be very much uh, left in here. What we'll do is uh, most of these pieces will go through our strainer. So, uh, I'll just pour some of this into the strainer. Now what I've got here is uh, 12, 12 cups of, of uh, corn. And with this recipe, uh, we're going to... Uh, we're, you, for every four cups of corn, we're going to use a gallon of water, and we're going to use uh, two tablespoons of, of pickle in lime. Now, I tried this before with baking soda. It didn't work. Uh, so this time, it didn't work for me. Some people might have good success. So this time, I'm using pickle in lime, which is a whole lot uh, more alkaline. So what I'll do now is we're going to... Put these into the pot. Okay, now I'm just going to dump this in and I'll dump the rest in. But uh, what we're going to do is we've got our lime mixture. In. Now this is uh, caustic. It's The alkalinity is high. It, it uh, Especially if you're sensitive, it will really affect your uh, skin. But we're going to put all these in here and we're going to bring these to a boil and uh, cook it up a little bit. Okay, we got it all in there. Now, let's explain a little bit about this. And, and I'm making hominy, but uh, the process of uh, the nixamol uh, corn or nixamolization of corn, what that does is it releases the nutrients because corn, the nutrients that you get from corn, your system can't, digest whether it be sweet corn or field corn or whichever get very little nutrients out of it and this is the way the indians used to do their corn <clears throat> once they next nationalized it they could dry it and then they could transport it wherever but the there's a, a whole lot of vitamin d and other nutrients in in corn but when we eat it we don't uh, benefit from these because like I say they're they're tied up into the the kernel. What this process does is <clears throat> it changes the corn. It's a chemical process with the 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 used uh, lye ash or ash lye rather, uh, where they take hardwood ashes, uh, put water with it, and then take that liquid, and it would be a real alkaline liquid. Well, some people do this with baking uh, soda, but I, like I say, I haven't had good luck. Uh, with pickle and lime, though, uh, pickle and lime is, is uh, really alkaline. And what, <clears throat> what this will do is it's actually going to swell up the kernels. And then it's going to, to release the outer skin from it. And we'll remove it in, in a process. And then we'll take it and... and uh, have harmony now there's uh, we'll, when we go through the process we'll talk about it a little bit more but 
but this is the only real way if you're going to, to uh, pr preserve corn or put it up and we're going to can this after we're finished we'll pressure can uh, what we have we could possibly uh, dehydrate some of it freeze dry it, and keep it for later you know because just depend on how much we're going to uh, use once it's dried it, it's it's got a really good shelf life without the moisture in it uh, <clears throat> but if you're going to eat it right right, right away then it's uh, easy enough to to do this now you can make a masa out of it or you can make cornbread out of it uh, the grinding into cornmeal it would give you a, a really healthy uh, cornmeal because like like say the regular cornmeal is even though you grind it up you'd think that you could get the nutrients but you can't uh, anyway before i ramble anymore i'll just let this go what we're going to do is we'll heat this up we'll get it to come to a boil and then we'll simmer it uh for about an hour or so we'll we'll test the kernels once the kernels start uh getting soft they'll swoop plump up and once they get soft then we'll just uh, turn the fire off and put the lid on it and let it sit for 24 hours once the corn gets into this mixture now you can see it's not yellow now it's turning a pretty orange color of course the water is starting to turn a little yellow which is, uh, that's nice, but uh, it actually is starting to transform this corn. Uh, stir it occasionally. Now, I want to stress you cannot do this with sweet corn. Sweet sweet corn is uh, completely different. The sugar should cause a problem with it. It wouldn't swell up like uh, field corn. Uh, now, if you're going to purchase corn uh, uh, through like Azra Standard or somewhere like that, it, and you're looking for field corn, it's not going to say field corn. It, it would be yellow corn. If they've got dried corn, uh, that's going to be field corn that they dry. Uh, the same corn that you would grind for cornmeal or such as that. Uh, and that would work. Now, it's not going to be like the Hickory King. The kernels aren't going to be as big, so they're not going to swell up as big. But the process is the same, and you'll have... Uh, uh, hominy or uh, well it, the finished product would be hominy and you could transform it into like say masa or or uh, uh, grits that's all, also hominy grits that just grind it up kind of coarse uh, what, whatever you plan to use use it for and that's <clears throat> that's why we'll probably dry some if we decide we want some some grits and now you can use white corn uh, the flavor isn't as uh, abundant or is, it isn't as flavorful as, as yellow corn, but like a lot that, that would use grits, uh, you, they, they're made from uh, the white corn. So it just, just depends on your preference and your flavor. But we'll let this cook some more. Okay, we got it all warmed up. <clears throat> now we've got it turned down to a simmer. We've got our timer set. We're gonna do about an hour. And you want to make sure you stir this occasionally. Uh, now, if with mine I have a, a, a clad bottom on this stainless steel pot, and I didn't mention, make sure you do use a stainless steel pot, and uh, make sure that your utensils, none of them are made out of aluminum or something like that, because it will, this caustic will eat it, and that, that metal will be in your... Uh, mix and, and we definitely don't need any more uh, aluminum in our bodies <clears throat> but come back and stir it occasionally and i like to say we're just going to have this down on on low uh, and what we're trying to do is we're swelling these up but we want these kernels to get soft we're kind of uh, what you can do is you can mash them uh, pretty easy right right now they're still hard in fact when we started out you probably could have bite through one of them uh, uh, because how hard they are but but they're starting to soften up now what they're going to do is as they soften up and they're starting to increase in their size they're going to swell up uh, and the skin's going to start uh, 
kind of loosening on them, but we'll let this go a while. Okay, this is cooked for about an hour, and we're just going to test it here and see how these are. And they're soft enough that they'll that they'll cut through right now. So, and that's pretty good. But I think we're going to cook it for about another thirty minutes. Okay, I've cooked it another thirty minutes, and that should pretty much do it. You can see how. Big and fat these kernels are now. Uh, what I'm going to do is now, and they've kind of started to fill up the the pan there, and they probably will more later. Uh, I'm gonna put this top on here. We're going to let this set, and uh, we'll come back and occasionally stir it. That way, they've got plenty of room if they start to swell up. But we're just going to let this set uh, overnight or roughly anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. I'm going to just let this set for 24 hours, being it's uh, about 7 in the morning today. So I'll just uh, finish it up tomorrow because once I uh, finish preparing these, we're going to have to uh, pressure can them. And so we don't want to do this, say, at 7 at night and, and start doing it. Okay, this is set overnight. You can see that corn's all swelled up there. It's almost to the top of the water. Now it's time to uh, take and make sure we get all the exterior off of it. Okay, now we're going to have to uh, drain the water off of this. Now this is a fairly large pot, 40 quarts. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to drain this lime water off. Now some people pour it outside because of the alkalinity in it. Uh, and they might worry about their septic system. Now mine is re rather large so I'm not going to worry about it. But, What we're going to do is we're going to take part of this corn at a time, then we have so much. And first, we're going to run it under some water, and we're going to get all this uh, lime water off it. So we won't have to worry about it now. Like I say, if you're sensitive to uh, different things on your hands, that alkali. Uh, of that water might affect you, might give you a problem. So, uh, but what we're going to do is we're just going to take it all and we're going to wash it all a little bit at a time. Now a lot of this uh, skin has already come off of this corn. It's uh, the process kind of makes it uh, separate, and that's uh, what we're wanting to do. Let's say we're just going to we're going to continue to do this till we get it all uh, rinsed off. All right, I have it all uh, rinsed. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to put some of this in this bowl. We're not going to put too much because it's. If we get too much, it's going to be hard to handle, and we're going to put some, some more water in it. And this is the next process. We're just going to rub this through our hands, and we're going to separate off uh, that outer uh, hole on there. And plus, this will be an extra wash, so if you're worried about some of that lime was... Uh, 
left on there uh, then don't don't worry because it's going to separate and then after after we do this uh, Pour it off in a, a, a colander again, and we're going to uh, rinse this. That way, we uh, get a lot of that off of there, and then we're going to repeat the process to. Uh, And then you can see some of that's left in there, but we're not going to be co too concerned with that because we're going to uh, rinse that out before we put it back in there. But we're just going to keep doing this until we have uh, cleaned all the outside. Our water, we want our water to be clear. Uh, so we've got uh, all the the alkaline water or the, the lime water off of it and then we're going to uh, uh, go on to the next process okay I've heated up the uh, corn here the hominy next next mula next ma, well you know what I'm trying to say I've heated it up I put it in the jars and now I've got some hot water here. I'm going to bring this up. Now I take this corn and I put it about roughly a, uh, about an inch from the top in case it decides to swell up. And I'm just going to put hot water in here and I'm going to actually fill these about a quarter inch from the top. Now a lot of your uh, suggestions on on your bottles and filling it would say a half inch but I, I know a lot of things tend to lose water and this the reason I put this corn about an inch down is or this hominy is because uh, there's a good chance that in the hour of pressure canning that it might actually swell up more uh, I'd like to think that it wouldn't uh, drink up all the water but you never know but anyway we're going to I'm going to continue to do this and then after that I'm going to just take a knife and I'm going to go down in each one of these jars and I'm going to try to remove any bubbles that might be affixed to the, the corn get it uh, settled in I'll clean the tops put my rings on I've got my pressure canner heated up and ready. I did have uh, just a little corn left. I'll go ahead and uh, cook this up and we'll have it for, for dinner tonight. But let me finish up here with this and get these in the canner. Okay, they're all filled up, ready to go. Then the uh, pressure canner is just going to be a matter of uh, putting the lid on. Make sure it's lined up right and tighten it down and start the heating up process. Now you need to follow your directions of your canner uh, whenever you're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to bring this up uh, to pressure and I'm going to uh, cook these for uh, 60 uh, sixty minutes. And we had a little bad luck with their canon situation uh, we had one jar that I probably uh, put the lid on too tight and so it cracked it could have been possibly a problem with the jar bottom it might not have been uh, too tight it's hard to say but we ended up with uh, 
15 jars, uh, 13 of them are sealed. And uh, so we've got our hominy and it's looking good. The two that didn't seal are, they seem like they, they don't have much water at all. So they, if they do seal, because it's just slightly warm, if they do seal, uh, they'll still probably be eaten first because uh, I don't think I don't think it'll have a good tight seal in, for long term storage. But anyway, I hope this uh, gives you a little more information on making hominy, understanding the process, uh, understanding uh, uh, nixtamalization, if I could ever say that. Uh, the process that it changes the corn into a, a nutritious source of uh, vitamins instead of just something that's kind of a filler that goes through you. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe. Hit the bell and select all so you'll be notified. And uh, of course, give it a big thumbs up. Enjoy your gardening experience.